Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with the man, myth, the legend, and somebody who does our weekly expert series, the weekly wrap-up, Mr. TYLG. How you doing, sir? I'm awesome, man. Great to be with you, as always. So uh, I don't know if people know this, but uh, you know, yesterday I did a drive out to Fresno to see a bunch of stuff, but the real anchor of that day was getting to see you, introducing to you, to some of my network, but most, most importantly, getting you to the hub showing you the vision, having you meet some of the people that are already there, because I, I'll say it right here, right now, I want you to be the anchor tenant. I will give you whatever you need at that building, because I need somebody with your giving attitude, with your 30 years of experience, your brokerage license, right? It's not lost on me. That's helpful. So that you could bring a team and then we can invest in them and we can help people. Because my vision for the hub is I will do a phone call every Monday at 9 a.m., which will be on my YouTube channel. And it starts with how many people we helped. And I know you act and behave the same way. So I have to find an anchor tenant, somebody I trust, know, and respect. And uh, getting you there, that was my evil plan, was to see if you wanted something like that. I love it. I love it. And, you know, I just want to say that, you know, I've always um, had an admiration for the hub and your vision there. Um, and it's interesting that kind of pre-COVID, Pace Morby and Jamil had come down. Yeah. The first time I had ever heard about the hub was it was Pace and Jamil taking a photo in front of the sign out front. And how appropriate that two of the guys, I think, that lead the nation in talking about collaboration, squatting up, community. And that's what the hub is. Well, why don't you maybe share for some of our friends, like if they don't know, what is the hub? Yeah, so the hub is uh, first and foremost, just to kind of give you the backstory. Uh, it's an old dentist office. So it has lots of little rooms. I think it's seven or eight little rooms. And uh, it, was a, it was a distressed asset uh, that I picked up in 2019. Uh, it's something that I own. Uh, and it doesn't fit anything else I own. I bought it as a legacy. I have seen um, a lot of kind of people get ripped off in real estate. And my vision for the hub was I want to put, I, my vision for the hub was I want to put a set of seven or eight people that I know, trust, and respect there so that, yes, their businesses can grow, but we can help people, right? And it got there. The building was full. I had a contractor, a couple of agents, a couple of great flippers. But then the pandemic hit. And this, that, and the other, it just wasn't top of mind. And now I'm back to a point where the hub's got a bunch of vacancies, and so I'm okay with. And I'm like, now it's time to get, bring my vision back. I'm willing to give space away if that's what it takes. Because I want to put people in there that are going to help. I believe, I, if you watch my channel, I think 2023 is going to be a horrible economic year. So my vision for what I want staffed in the hub is really twofold. One is I want people that are there to help people in trouble behind payments, no equity. They, they feel stuck. They're scared. There's a lot of things we could do just point people at. I mean, I envision QR codes on the windows like, hey, you want a form letter for getting a forbearance? Here's a QR code, right? We have these great windows, main drag. I will, I will do whatever I can to help people. Like ADUs, there was a great ADU presentation in Fresno yesterday uh, by somebody that's been on my channel, Derek, uh, Jason, Dean, Stratton, shout out those, those guys for hosting. Think about it. Fresno now has three approved ADU plans. Why don't we put QR codes on the window? Come get them, right? Just think about all the things we could do to help people, not sell them something, not rip them off, not do any of these things. So again, think about all the stuff we can do. Then there, are, it. then there are people that want to buy, but they're scared. So I want an FHA buyer. I want house hacking is the cheat code to wealth. You want to get on the property ladder. Prices are too high. Buy a fourplex, buy a duplex, buy a triplex. Lots of, I have a ninth grade dropout and a, a single parent of three kids that was $89,000 in debt that are now financially free in less than a decade because of house hacking. I want somebody in that does house. I want to look at a different multi-property every week and run the numbers. My parents are veterans. I would not be sitting here today without a Marine 
in a na- uh, Navy representative. I want to get back to veterans. I want an agent in there that is focused on VA loans. What is it? How do you do it? What are the forms? Blah, blah, blah. I have no idea. I'm, I'm not a veteran. I don't, I don't get one. You know, so um, I'm thinking about all the people that may need help next year. I want to staff them. I, I don't need the rent. It's not about the rent. Yep. Um, I, I just want to give this thing a go. I mean, I've got the building. I've got the heart, the desire. I've got the growing channel. Um, and again, dude, I met, because again, every 9, 9 a.m. every Monday, I want to start the hall or start the call with the hub people on my screen and go, how many people we helped? That's, that's where it. we're going to start. I love it. I love it. And, and I want to just share this. I love, again, going back to the thought of that, again, squatting up, collaboration, community, a vibe. And this is interesting. We had not talked about this. So this is an original mm. thought or my opinion on what observation the last 24 hours looking at the hub because of the pandemic a lot of people have gotten incredibly comfortable including myself working from home it's convenient you got i got sweatpants on i got a hat on Uh, no no big deal i could wear a hat to my office too no big deal but the point being is that people have gotten very comfortable in this last two or three years but also the market has been strong enough yeah yes you could be comfortable at home today. And especially going forward, I believe now more than ever, whether you're a real estate investor, a buyer's agent, a listing agent, a loan officer today, now more than ever, we need to get outside of our comfort zone, but also to go back to fundamentals and the foundation of success. And part of, I think is the synergy of being in an office Mm -hmm. where you go where there's an expectation, where you're going there to work, you put your head down, but also like-minded people, yeah. where you're surrounded by people that are forward thinking, that are encouraging, and that there's collaboration and there's synergy there. Maybe yeah. speak to synergy and some of the things you've done in the past with your teams, yeah. sales teams, or otherwise. Yeah, I mean that. I mean, when you really so again, right? There's no secret. I believe 2023 is going to be a housing depression. I think transactions will be down 50, percent but that still means we're going to do four million transactions. It's not like it's going to be zero, but they're just going to be different. Like for example, house hacking, right? My vision, right? I believe house hacking is the cheat code to wealth. I believe it is the way to become a millionaire in 10 years or less. It's just that simple. But a lot of people don't know what it is. So think about this. We have an agent in the office that every week goes to a a fourplex or a remodeled multifamily. On the same screen, we're going to have a lender. Again, this is all vision stuff, right? A non-QM lender, a traditional lender, whatever it is. And the lender can run the numbers, right? They can run the fictitious numbers. Like we talked about a house hack duplex last week with Carlos on my channel. And it's the 3121, I believe. And we can run the numbers, right? Hey, buy this duplex, live in the two, rent out the three. Let's assume we get 1400 rent. Hey, Mr. Lender, what does somebody have to make to get in there? Oh, well, we could do this and this. We're going to take 75% of rent. And oh, by the way, they got to make X. I mean, just think about the power that we can put together. And oh, by the way, it is not lost on me. We are going to help a lot of people in Fresno. But by helping people in Fresno and recording it on the channel, we're going to help people around the world. So when we say we help 50 people in Fresno, we're going to help 5,000, 50,000, 500,000 people around the world. And that's the legacy I am trying to build. I love it. I love it. Well, folks, if you have any interest, if you are an agent, a broker, a loan officer, uh, an investor, even if you're like maybe even a W-2, you have a regular job, but you're getting your license, you're studying all of that. I want you to reach out to me, reach out to Michael. Um, I can be accessed ty at tylg.com is my email. That's the best way. So if you're looking for a home also too, and this is something I think that's beautiful, Michael, I'm going to throw this at you, but I know it's a part of it is that they get access. So like, think yeah. about, I, I paid a thousand dollars a month for coaching for like all of my 30 years of career or more, a couple grand a month in coaching. And the beauty is they're going to have access to you, video, yeah. the Zooms, things that I'm doing, training, things like that, access that you would not have otherwise. But because again, we're so focused on building a community there Mm -hmm. and having this incredible, you know, this legacy piece for you, obviously a bigger business opportunity too. You get what you give, right? Mm -hmm. And so 
you know, the more you give, the more you share, obviously that's going to come back in opportunity and monetized. Yeah. So. I'm not, yeah, it's not lost on me that there's some goodness at the end of this for me, but it is so far down the pipeline. I, it, it's, I, I don't look for it. Will it happen? Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. But again, when I can come, when I can come in every Monday and here we help 50 people and then we, we tell the stories and then that gets loaded and we help 5,000, 50,000, 500,000 in YouTube world. Um, I think it's amazing. And, and, the guy that I'm trying to follow with this giving attitude is Pace Morby, right? If you guys yep. know anything about Pace Morby, he is such a big giver. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, so Huge. far behind that, but you know, the vision is there. Uh, we will do it in our own way, but that's the mindset. I mean, the guy gives away so much stuff of, of his time. It's, it's just amazing to watch. So shout out Pace uh, and anybody in the squad up or uh, sub two community squad up community. We're coming. We're, we're trying to help too. So. Um, Thank you, Ty, for being a part of this. And I can't wait to see how many people join your team because um, it's going to be fun. I will give them time, as much time as they want. We will both invest. And uh, I don't know. I, I hope in eight weeks, 10 weeks, we're talking about how many people we helped. I, I can't wait to make that the first question I ask every week. I love it. I love it. I'm excited, Michael. I'm excited for what we're doing. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Thank Fol you. Folks, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, comment. If you are in the Fresno community, and you want to be a part of this team that, uh, again, Ty is building. And, and he's the broker. I'm just a guy with a crazy-ass vision and a voice. And um, reach out, T-Y-L-G at T-Y-L-G. Or what is it again, Ty? T-Y at T-Y-L-G dot com. I'm no, the guy with Ty. the long name, but the shortest email. T-Y yeah. at T-Y-L-G dot com. Yeah, email them, let you know you're interested. I, again, Ty and I will work out the details. Um, but this, there's so much, this building could be, it's underutilized. The pandemic got in front of me. There's no excuses. I, I, I made a mistake. That time is over. We're going to, we're going to help people going forward. So Ty, thank you for all you do. Thank you for doing this. Nice to see you in Fresno. Love it. Thanks bud.